Computer Space, the first coin-operated video game arrived over 50 years ago in 1971. But how did Computer Space become the first coin-operated video game? We'll start a decade earlier than that was a game called Space War. Space War was the first multiplayer game known to have been produced and is the basis of two arcade machines we're looking at here. Essentially, both units were hybrids of Space War, with the same basic gameplay and theme and as they arrived so close to one another. We felt it was worth mentioning them both, especially as, across the years, both have claimed the title of first coin-operated video game. Developed in 1962, Space War was a two-player game that saw the players engage in a dogfight between two spaceships while maneuvering on a two-dimensional plane in the gravity well of a star, set against the backdrop of a star field. Space War holds several notable video game first titles, including the first multiplayer game, first game to use a controller, and as it was copied to several of the early computer installations in American academic institutions after its initial release, making it the first video game to be available outside a single research institute. Fast forward to 1970, Nolan Bushnell, a student at the University of Utah, joined up with Jim Stein, a Stanford University researcher, to make a game. They were both avid players of Space War, which was being run in their respective university labs. Nolan was previously worked at a music park and had long pondered the possibility of making an arcade version of a video game. In 1971, they joined forces with Nutting Associates, an arcade company with the finished game. Computer Space was released the first time in this first location test in August of 1971. The first coin-operated games machine had finally arrived. In September 1971, Galaxy Game was installed at Stanford University, California, created by Bill Pitts and Hugh Tuck. They were said to be unaware of computer space at the time, and likely were, so they believed they had developed the first coin-operated video game. History has shown that they were just one month too late, but it didn't matter to the students at Stanford who queued up in a long line for their turn to play the Galaxy Game. At 10 cents per game, or 25 cents for Sarik, Galaxy Game was a huge hit. Only one unit was built initially, costing around $20,000. But in June of 1972, the hardware was improved to allow the processor to power four to eight consoles, and additional units were added, allowing users to play against each other. Galaxy Game continued to remain popular on campus, with wait times for players as long as an hour, until it was removed in May of 1979 due to the display processor becoming unreliable. Just think how much technology has moved on in those eight years, and yet, still people queue to play. Back in October 1971, two months after the single test unit was installed and had proved to be a success, 1,500 units of computer space were manufactured, making it the first commercially available coin-operated arcade machine. The first 1,000 units sold pretty quickly, Fiberglass cabinets were produced for single player games in colors blue metal flake, red metal flake, white, and yellow. The rare two player cabinet was only available in a slightly different green metal flake fiberglass cabinet with a wider control panel. There had been nothing like it, and although computer space performed well on university campus, in local bars it was not a success. For many, the gameplay was just too complicated to grasp for drunk people to comprehend so the people at the bars just stuck with playing darts and pool. Eventually sales slowed down so no further units were produced. But Computer Space has a mighty legacy. It was made by Nolan Bushnell and Ted Dabney, the same two guys who went on to found the Atari company in 1972 and released the arcade classic Pong. Thanks for watching.